travel south to Candlekeep, you meet with Silvira and she will decode the box for you. You are fully healed, you've got all your spells back. Oh, I did. Oh, 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 I want the rubber after you. Um, overnight, Bodger, some, uh, a, a, a dwarven blacksmith grabs your pan and improves it for you. Why do you he, keep Oh, what? He gets improved again? Yeah. He sharpens one edge, so it's more like a hand axe, and he sticks it. nails through the other side. So it's uh, it's now doing a D8 damage instead of a D6. Nice. Oh, oh dang, boy. Diamond looking. Oh, shit, son. So you have your long rest, you get given a couple of horses and a carriage just so you've got somewhere for your iron guy to, uh, to ride oh, yeah. as well. Is uh, it a nice ride down to Candlekeep? It's relatively nice. It's a, it's a road known as the Coast Way. Oh. Uh, so you you keep your wits about you and manage to avoid an orc ambush on the way. Um, you arrive at a, sign, a wooden signpost that says this way to Candlekeep, Way of the Lion. Oh. So you turn onto the Way of the Lion path and you, you trundle down this sort of dirt path. Uh, after a little while, you uh, approach the coast. And as you crest a hill, uh, you can finally see before you a complex of clustered towers perched on the spur of a volcanic rock that overlooks the sea. Mm. It's reached by the single road that you're on. And as you approach, you can see that the, the lights in the windows are burning, even though it's middle of the day. It seems like they keep the lights burning all times. Uh, Hence, as you, as you the name. <laughs> there you go. We got keep. it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I've noticed. That this is called Candle Keep. Oh, God. Oh, we're not <laughs> stopping the card, are we? We're <laughs> no. So as you approach the walls, you hear there's a low chanting from inside. You see that there are a, there's a double set of black metal gates, easily three times the size of a human. Um, and there's a small uh, hut inset into the wall, out of which a, uh, a robed elf comes out. Ooh. Ah, my people. <laughs> he has a, f a castle on a, a, a adorned over a flame on his chest. That's what I say whenever I bump into another human. Ah, my people. <laughs> it is greetings, travellers. <laughs> greetings, you found yourself at the gate of Candlekeep, home of the world's knowledge and the resting place of the great Sierra Londo. Not how I imagined it's an elf to sound. Yes, yes, elves I are descended it. from Wales in my, uh, in my world. All right. right so uh, uh, I'm the keeper of the Emerald Door. How can I be of assistance? Wait, I have Elvish, so can we just talk in Elvish? Because, sure. I've, yeah, I don't know what Elvish is. I think it's are. rude, but yeah. go ahead. <laughs> Let's it's, just make jokes at the expense of these <laughs> Wow. Go for yeah. it. Go and, wow. and, and, and start. start. Yeah, but I was like, who are you? And oh. begin. <laughs> start the Elvish. <laughs> it's in, in my head. It's yeah, little yeah, did yeah. you know. What? You don't speak Elvish. You just say you very have very nice pants. That's very, I've not done anything to you. Why would you say that about me? Whoa! Sorry about it. But two of them? In a sandwich? Absolutely. That doesn't make sense. What are you talking about? And then you hear him say in Elvish. Is your friend, uh, has he taken head wounds? Yeah, a lot. Many, <laughs> I understand. Many of them. <laughs> well, just over well, we, and will, over we will care for you. We will care for you while you're sharp. here. I just got us a discount. Yeah. I, <laughs> now, I, I definitely wrote this down, but w we are looking to get passage into the city and find... Nine so Hells, Wreck. I, I bring up my little nut head, <laughs> and which I literally wrote down. Nine, Nine Hells, Wreck. That was that, that was what the, that was what the shield told you, not what Phallus the Fisk told you. I wasn't listening. <laughs> no, clearly, <laughs> it's, it's okay. This it's, is what a DM has to deal with, with <laughs> any players, regardless of how experienced they are. We find this is notes. how good a D, uh, D and D players we are. We don't. <laughs> We're yeah. finding the woman whose name begins with S. Sal Silvira Savikas, the right head down. diabolist of Candlekeep. Silvia exactly. Windrunner. Silvira yeah, exactly. Savikas, the head of Candlekeep. You mention this to him. Savikas. He says, "Excellent, excellent. We just require a donation." To our library, some how much? Of how much of a donation? Let, let's something, some kind of a do, uh, donation to our knowledge. Anything that we don't have. Um, books. I'm pretty smart, so. Mm, Better than you're tones. the one with all the money. What can you spare? Look, I'll, I'll just give you two hundred gold. I'll give you two hundred gold. Are interested in books, knowledge, law, anything that you might be able to I offer that we don't know. Don't know. I can give you a lesson. On I know where this is I leading. I know where this is leading, and I'm not giving you my book of Honeywood law. <laughs> Just <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> Just do it. Anything, anything about no knowledge of like distant well, lands. So what, or what's what's stopping us from just can... attacking this guy? <laughs> he wants my book the, of the he, massive he, black gates that would then he, prevent him from getting out of the castle. I tell you what. I tell you what. I have got a bargain for you. I know a special recipe for a vegetarian sausage. <laughs> Very well. Uh, let us hear it. And if it's something we don't have already, a little bit let of you in. You get tofu. You mash it up and you get some rosemary, and you add an egg, and then you kind of make it in a sausage. Sh sh uh, it, 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 Stick a persuasion check. 17, 19. plus two. Because, really? 
And so the tofu, you, you do marinate it first? Yeah, you or? marinate it, you get a bit of um, soy sauce, and you, you mash it up, I'm and surprised. you put rosemary, and then That's a little bit of garlic powder. Do, do you have to, do you even do you have to do it in a pan like that? Because that's a hideous looking like a, pan. A, a pan like, uh, well, you can do it in any pan. I do prefer this pan. Right. Well, that's that's wonderful. We'll write that down, uh, and, and that should be sufficient. <laughs> Literally, what? Stupid. So he opens the, he opens the, the gates to you. Okay. Yeah. Um, thank you. I got to keep my book of Honeywood lore. Well, that I gave to you specifically for this reason. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah it's not going to serve any other purpose now. You're literally now but the light of the ground. Later on, when you guys are fighting or something, I'm just going to like kick back and open up my book of Honeywood lore. Oh, right. I'm sorry, oh. but if you don't put this up on Patreon, the recipe for the sausage, you've got to do it now. you got to do it. Sell it. A human monk approaches. Um, <laughs> He says, uh, my name is Velderel. Uh, I am oh, one so of the avowals. If you wish it better for your tongue, you can call me V. V. I like V. Um, oh, v. v just I'm one up. of the avowed here. Please do not take offense, but I will be chaperoning you while you're staying here. Make sure you do not damage books or copy things, which you're not allowed to copy. Uh, I understand you're here to see Silvira. How did he know where we're going? Yeah. Probably Mate. because Fisk Mate. sent word He's of it. He's a monk. Magic. Monk. He knows. All right. Magic shit. So they, uh, you walk past the manicured lawn of uh, groups of monks just chanting and nice uh, really, really nice, nice looking tem uh, sort of temple like library in the center. Temple, I know, I know so I've said it a few times, <laughs> but this is not as <laughs> nice is so as the temple of As the temple of Calabon, <laughs> nobody cares. But Takes you to one of the lower levels of the library uh, and, and fetches a woman back who is, well, I say woman, she's very human in appearance. Other than she's got ruddy, ruddy skin, ruddy red skin, horns that run the back, back of her head, black, jet black hair. Oh. Uh, she's got a, a very thin pencil-like tail, and she's wearing a yellow cassette. Is ah, she she's a, devil. a devil or a demon? She's a devil. She's probably in her late fifties or so, and she's sort of <clears> absent-mindedly <throat> stroking the uh, the horns. She's also got a hideous creature sitting on her shoulder. That's a demon. Pointed ears, whoa, very beady whoa, whoa, eyes, whoa, whoa, pointy, sharp teeth, and claws. And she uh, she comes out. <clears throat> She's evil. Uh, I'm, is she a devil or a demon? I'm a tiefling, and that's very offensive. But it seems like you're not from round here, so perhaps Sorry. I'll let it slide. This really is a demon. <laughs> I'm a tiefling. Tiefling. I have what? negative one oh. charisma. Hello, <laughs> we've been come to... Give me that. We've come to give you this shield so you can send us the home. The shield was left with Falister Fisk. You're giving her the box. <laughs> We've come, sorry, <laughs> we've come to give you this box. Ah, excellent. And she takes it from you, Which and her eyes go to. wide. This is she, a contract box. She looks like she knows what to I've do. never seen one of these in person. Where did you... Have you made deals with devils? No, we just got it from some random 17 So this is not, was kind of random, this is not your box. No, it kind of just appeared here, and then it was like just kind of just thrust in front of us. Okay. Not even from you better this. come inside, and she We're takes you We're not even the from office. this world. I shall ask more Wait, about that later. Yeah, yeah, no about that. So she takes you into, <laughs> <laughs> she takes you into a uh, side that. office and she tells V to wait outside. It's okay, I've got them from here. This is written in Infernal, the language of devils, uh, and it's used to house contracts. I'm attracted to her. They are, thank you. I'm not interested. Oh. Uh, well, let's not, oh, let's just leave, leave it Persuasion. Like, this is a puzzle box. I'm going to roll a persuasion check. <laughs> to see if you can hit on her? Yeah. It always results to this. <laughs> and you're, not, you're not even a bard. Oh. Are your feet sore? Cause you've been dancing on my mind all day, honey. It, she's, thank Plus you, two. but I'm, I, my heart goes to Jezebel. The lady Nine. says no. My, my heart is with Jezebel. Thank the you. lady says no. I'm always here. This is a puzzle box. I cure the wounds it, it of does not. Roger's heart. <laughs> Sorry. Don't make, don't make me invoke unskippable cutscene, guys. <laughs> guys, okay, yes. She, she, she looks at it and says, uh, this, is, this is designed to not be opened unless there is some sort of a sacrifice. Jezebel, uh -oh. this once and only this once, you may bite me. And before she's even finished the words, the demon <laughs> has launched down onto it. Oh. I told you it was the demon. Oh, that's enough. Let go. Now. Uh -oh. <laughs> Eventually, let's go. And the blood which drips down, she wipes it on the front of the box and some of the runes start to glow red. Now it's my turn. And Jezebel uh, that tries to jump from her shoulder, but she grabs it by the leg, reaches it across, <laughs> bites down on this demon's leg and some blackish green ichor into her mouth. She takes oh. some and spreads it across the top oh. of the blood. And at that point, one of the one of the pieces that was protruding retracts into <gasps> the box, allowing some of the pieces to oh. turn. Oh my god. I wish I would have known this. I would have just bitten you. No. Do you have a I, demon? No. You don't have a demon. It's demon. Uh. Um, so so <laughs> I, I, take uh. it, I take it from your appearance and just general manner that you're not from around here. No. You no, probably know little of the nice. nine hells. The nine hells? So not one the hills? Time. Charisma check. <laughs> <laughs> One more time with disadvantage because she's already said no to you. So roll 11. twice, take the lower of the two. 
phone. <laughs> Six, seven, eight. Do you want to sex me? Yeah, loss. And no means no. Thank you very I much. I will get the guards Reach. to come and escort you out. Hashtag, 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 hashtag you suck. Let's <laughs> just. Work I on. think we'll work on a little. Can we ignore whatever. him? Don't worry about it. So, anyway, so, yes. Uh, the first thing you should know about the nine hells and the abyss. He said hells, that by the way, not hills. Devils. Hells. Was it hells? Have we been going what? for the nine Unskippable hells? Unskippable cutscene. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> The Not first thing you, know, thing you need to know about the Nine Hells and the Abyss is that devils come from one and demons the other. They despise one another and only clash because of the immense energy that flows between them known as the River Styx. Mm. They despise one another but for, thankfully for the rest of the universe, the multiverse I should say, they've been keeping each other busy in an eternal conflict known as the Blood War for as long as history can tell. As she's saying that she's turning and clicking pieces and however this is a devil's box and it contra contains one of the contracts known and as she's saying this they open it opens up with like a, a hiss of black blackish green smoke oh. <coughs> 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 uh, as i expected and she pulls it out this bears the seal of zariel zariel uh -oh. she's an, an angel it? sounds like an angel she was i know things she breaks it open and mm, unravels it she quick, quickly reads it and her eyes just go wide. You notice for the first time that her eyes have no uh, sclera, no white part, mm. but just solid color. And she really, and this is because she's sort of really wide eyed and stunned at what she's reading. Mm. Zariel, however, was trapped in hell and ultimately corrupted until Asmodeus. I'm sure I don't need to tell you who that is. And then she looks at faces and goes, "We just pretend to know what you're talking about." Big deception checks. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You know yes. that one. She's that the one. Worst. Eighteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Seventeen. Plus what? Eighteen plus three. I think. The deception modifier in your skills. I got skills. nineteen. Eighteen plus four. Oh, twelve. Six, twelve seven, total. Nine. So nine is the dots on the bottom. Oh. And your deception is plus two. So she looks around and sees that you guys know uh, Asmodeus, of course. Nope, yep. Know nope. who that is? We, we know. Definitely <laughs> Amadeus Menace. Know oh, that one? From Diablo. No, I don't okay. know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> so you ruined it for all of us. Okay. As Asmodeus, uh, or some call him Asmodeus, is the king among kings among the devils. He's the devil of devils. Oh. He is the leader of all of the nine hells, and he is right, said right, to right. have plucked her from her mound of corpses atop her, noticed and recognised her skill in fighting and set her to work ruling the entirety of the first layer of hell. AKA known as Lucifer. Avernus. No. <laughs> Zariel. Zariel. Literally Zariel. She is, the, she is now the ruler of Avernus, um, <laughs> the first layer of hell, and she has made a contract with a man known as Thavius Krieg, who used to be a priest of Torm in El Terrell. So oh, the priest understand. essentially sold an entire city to the devils? In order that to in order great. to combat combat the undead problem, he postponed a much greater problem of promising his city to the devils How at an indeterminate date. And it's happening good this month. Thinking. No. Is that? <laughs> no. And what should we do about that? I, I there's nothing you can do. You you good, remain. We should go home. Yes, no. you remain here. We we will. We, it's not a priority, of course, but we are working on trying to understand how you've come from an entirely different reality. We can have interdimensional, interplanar travel, but we've, we're not sure where you came from. If you could send us home, that would be. We're ideal. working yeah, on as quickly as possible. Yeah. yeah. If only we had a book of like Honeywood lore or something, of knowing where you're. Like my God, <laughs> fine. Take my book. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's lovely. This will help us work out how to get you home. Now I won't have nice light reading later on. But it's not. You do have two books, just in case you like burnt one or something. Don't like, forget about the vegetarian yeah. sausages. <laughs> <laughs> so she, she takes the book, this will help us, but unfortunately it's not a priority, right? And she stops speaking. It's happening. What? what? It's, happening? Whoa, 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 whoa. it's happening now! What? What? Uh, oh. And she traces her finger in the air, and there's like arcane runes appearing in front of her. Ha! Oh. Oh. The companions oh. turned red! And she sends it, and, it, and it, it turns into like a wisp of like oh. silvery grey smoke that <laughs> shoots out the door. She does this like three more times. It's, uh, the companion's turning red! Oh. Uh, what is uh, that? What are they? What, what, is she, what is she sending out? What? Huh? Huh? <laughs> What's happened? What's happened? What's happened? What? What's happened? She sort of looks and she's like kind of back in the room with you. She drops what? to her knees. <laughs> El Terrell's gone. Oh, uh -oh. dear. We're Sorry about your loss. <laughs> Can, Can we, we go, go home? home? 
<laughs> you guys are so insensitive. Sorry about your loss. Can, can we, we go, go home? home? Wanna... Sorry about, about your loss. Can we go home? Sorry about your loss. Can we go home? Sorry about your loss. Can we go home? I'm gonna give you inspiration for that. So, so Greg. <laughs> Greg and Baradun both have inspiration for being yes. so callous. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! What that means is if you ever don't like your d20 roll, you can re-roll it. Once. Well, so yeah. I got nothing. Yeah. Well, you didn't join in the chat. Being the nicest you're being, person yeah, alive. You know what? It was, they were playing their characters. You can't win. They were yeah, playing their characters. <laughs> no. All right, so... We don't. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, you, you notice over the next few hours, there are in, in, influx of people coming to uh, coming to Candlekeep, teleporting in, seemingly in a teleportation circle in the lowest levels of the library. Old wizened guys, people on councils, all sorts of things. There's chatter all around the place. Um, very dramatic. A man on yeah, a Segway. Please. Very much. <laughs> <laughs> Chanting. A magical, a magical seg Segway. Yeah. Even V seems to be distracted and kind of leaves you a couple of times before he realizes he's meant to be chaperoned. Well, kind of, and Greg kind of walking around going, sorry about your loss, sorry about that. You know how this guy's on? <laughs> <laughs> just kind of like quietly just, hey, you know sorry you about your you loss. You know how this guy's on? <laughs> All right, so um, you eventually uh, overhear uh, an elderly guy with a big beard. We, we don't have the right tuning fork, do we? We know, we know what it's in Avernus, but we just need something that resonates with the right tone. Uh, we don't know how to get there. We're, if only we had something that... Uh, uh, and you recall that you're still sort of humming with the same tone that the Gagoth gave you initially. Which I would have definitely remembered. Yes, <laughs> it would. Which is why I didn't and need I a prompt. Need to prompt. Talking to, whispering to a, to a kind of a ghosty skeleton-y thing and he told me that I have... He gave me like a kind of a vibration thing. I, I remember vibrating. Is that helpful? To I, I get out a fork that I just happen to have in my pocket and go... <laughs> what are you doing? And he turns and looks that direction. And I hit him again. What is? <laughs> Stop it! Wait, 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 wait. What is? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> no, shut up. <laughs> so I thought, are you humming? No, I just I thought you wanted me to sing. What? No. Is that no? Uh, Have you been in contact with the devil or something recently? I did touch a thing, like an <laughs> undead skeleton thing. It's whispering at me. The shield of Gargoth. That's one. Come, 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 come. Hey. We uh, found our tuning fork! He shouts. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm a tuning fork. <laughs> bring, bring your p p people! Oh, come, oh, come. I don't want to do this. Oh. Basically, <laughs> the council preps you on the fact that uh, in order to transport between planes in this world, you need a, you need a tuning fork that is, is, is resonating with a particular tone. So I'm a fork. You are a tuning mm -hmm. fork, effectively. How do you feel about that? I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah. Gargoth in, 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 in tuned in, that, in you the, uh, the sound of how to get to Avernus specifically. Uh, so he explains oh, this to no. you and he says, uh, I'm afraid coming? you're going to hell. No, 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 no. it's no, not our no. first choice either. We'd prefer uh, someone uh, who attacks with like a uh, great yep. axe and okay. a pan, but I'm, I'm going to put this out there as a plan B. Instead of sending us to hell, send us home. Oh, we don't know how to do that. It's not a priority. Uh. You've been pestering us for two days now. <laughs> uh, sorry about your loss. Can we go home? Sorry about your loss. Can we go home? What I do we get? We will prepare you with, with everything that we have. No, no, I mean like afterwards for doing it. Like yeah, yeah, that's we'll nice. give you oh, anything. Adventurous. We'll send you home. We'll send. You, we'll give you gold. Anything you need if you survive it. Anything we'll, you need. Writing okay, that down. Let me put it this way. Anything. And it's because it's up to me because I am the tuning fork. <laughs> Shame. I want. The chosen. I want a sausage. Um, yeah, done. I want. I want. Literally just agreed on. Yeah, a yeah, yeah, no, I'm not finished. I'm not sausage. finished. I want some bread. Done. We can do that. Is that enough? No, yeah, like, no, 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 no. What else? <laughs> well, I can't think of anything right I now. Want some gravy. I, I want ten trillion gold. It's not a number. We don't know that number yet. <laughs> We're not mathematically advanced <laughs> enough to account possible. above that number. And I want to go home. Sure, we'll do. We're working. Right, it's I a deal. This I don't before agree. you started listing I don't things. Agree. I don't agree. I don't agree to any of that. I want well, something. We'll give you a, whatever it's gold we can spare. We just need to get out of the deal, so it's done, I guess. So. So you guys are prepared over the next few days. You are leveling up. Uh, hurrah. Yes. Da, da, da. So we, we, right. is there like a montage in Candlekeep? Like, yes, there is. I'm on fire! So you get access to level three spells now. Yes, I'm burning! <laughs>
Uh, uh, you get access to level three Thank spells you. and some new creatures that I'll Ooh, tell you about in a second. You get hello. access to your level two spells. Hellhound. Nice. Um, so <laughs> I'm very excited. They also enchant your pan. They get an, oh. So they prepare you with uh, level. You level up. You get an enchanted pan. You get an enchanted dagger, which is included here. Oh yeah. And with an enchanted dagger being an artificer, you can attack twice. Awesome. Um, when you set the attack what action. And I want to get my lantern of revealing. <laughs> you get okay? a lantern of revealing nice. given to you. <laughs> nice. Got it. Um, you get given a ring of spell storing, which means you can store up to three the levels of spell within this uh, this ring and use them without spending spell slots. Oh, where's so, that? So uh, I, you can write it on if you like. Um, so you can store three level. That's a ten. That's two. You you, uh, you can store three level ones, one level three, one level two, and a level one, up to three levels total in this yep. spell. Okay. Real. You're taken aside by um, one of the uh, elderly majors uh, who tells you, uh, I understand from the last few days you're a druid, you can wild shape and yeah. change into animals. Uh, here, obviously, you can draw on the nature magic to do so, and turning into natural beasts. We found in the past when druids head to hell, the nature there is very different, and uh, in such that when you draw on the nature magic there, you might find that your forms are a little more hellish. You are presented with four potions of greater healing oh. and four potions of fire resistance. Who and you're told you, you oh, have one each. One each. Um, so you have What'd a, you say? Fire resistance and greater, greater healing. greater healing and a fire resistance potion. The fire resistance lasts for one hour and does what it says on the tin. And then you have a long rest and you are ready for hell. Or as ready and as you can be. One. Uh, I feel like we've been thrust into this this feels very w quick. W without our consent. Unfortunately, there's, there's not a lot we can do about it, and we need to send a team of adventurers, and it seems like you've spent the most time with the tuning fork. So I don't... I've got a name. <laughs> it doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> Let's call him tuning fork, fork from tuning now on. Tuning fork. Tuning tuning fork. fork. <laughs> I've, got, so I've got a name. I've your got a energies name. are combined, yeah. like it or not, uh, and so you will stand the best chance of actually getting to the same place when you transport. In the morning after a long rest, you're prepared as best you can. You're, 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 you're having your uh, Avengers moment of being dressed up in like enchanted clothing that won't burn off in the hellfires of hell. Nice. <laughs> like walking down to the, the teleportation <laughs> circle altogether. Slow uh, motion. It's slow motion. Nice. Oh, it's like that scene and, from and the uh, Apollo. Where the elderly yeah. guy's like, could you hurry it up, please? We're really trying to... Can we uh, just have that moment? We're all actually just walking slow. Right. I'm ready. Are we... Um... What's going on? Okay. These guys. Eventually, you make it to a, a a large circle, ten foot wide, um, uh, 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 filled with runes. And as you enter, the runes start to hum in the same resonance as you. And then others, other runes start to hum with uh, sort of harmonic, oh. kind of like that, but more fiendish. <laughs> 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 Eventually, this this harmony gets deafening, and then you feel like you're being stretched out, oh. and then pushed through a, uh, a hose pipe. Wow. It's not a pleasant feeling, oh. and then eventually, just before you suck, you get sucked away, uh, so you hear Sylvia say, Try not to make any deals! And then, <laughs> you're sucked away. Nice. Try not to meet any eels. <laughs> oh, okay. I think she said. I might need to make some deals. I heard. <laughs> to, to not meet <laughs> eels. <laughs> meet eels. So anyone offers you a deal, take it. Take I wish I had some eel minis. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so you slam down hard on uh, on some rock, which instantly starts to scorch your hands and knees. Oh! Uh, the air is uh, thick with smog, and it smells strongly of brimstone and decay. Was you that get, you, Budge? I want to look around oh. for someone to make a deal with. <laughs> you get to your feet, you peer around. There's a blood red light suffusing through the unbearably hot dry air, and the visibility is limited due to the ever ever present smog. So is this the sense of burning and stuff? Is it is it hurting us? No, or is it, okay. not enough to hurt once you're standing. You've got you've been you've had enchanted boots that won't burn. Um, occasionally, there's a patch of sky illuminated by a streaking meteor that just crashes into the, the ground with a, a resounding boom mm. and a, uh, a resultant mm. rum rumble. Uh, you appear to be in some sort of mountain pass currently, surrounded by pools of poison and lava. Oh, wee. Wow. So, Not a good place to be then, eh? Welcome to help. Not ideal. Oh, we're Welcome. in hell. Oh, she. Oh. Ace of the plays. <laughs> oh, this is horrible! This is much worse than I pictured. Wow! Oh, who thought hell would be bad? They're not eels, so don't make a deal. Yeah. I, I think I think she rhymed. She's like, if it's an eel, <laughs> make, make a deal. deal. 
<laughs> hey guys, thanks very much for watching, and a big thanks to Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring this preview episode of their upcoming campaign, Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. If you want to find out more about it, there's a link in the description below, and stay tuned for the next episode.